What do you think of that setup? Maybe a little sketchy to say the least. I know we've all seen a bunch of Wilton Vice restoration videos from, well, basically everybody. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do something a little different. So I'm going to put two things together that everybody loves. Metal Shaper and a Wilton Vice. I picked up this vise quite a while ago actually. It came out of a storage unit that I purchased. The one and only storage unit I've ever bought in my life and lo and behold this was in there. It has led a tough life though. The handle's beat up, missing a jaw, the threads are missing, chunk is missing out of here, but it's a Wilton, it's an early Wilton, and it's got a swivel base on it. I've been using it just as is. The amount of work I'd have to put in it to restore it, maybe someday. However, today I thought, well, this would be a cool thing, let's do this. A little pad here that is not really made to be an anvil has been used as an anvil and it is dished and what better way to flatten this thing out than something that makes things flat the metal shaper sure I could have easily stuck it on my mill and done that and yeah well let's have some fun with it alright so now you may be asking hey Brett um, that looks kinda sketchy why don't you just bolt this thing straight to the table the box uh, I thought about that and I really don't want to take my vise off. So I clamped it and I clamped it in the back and I'm going to take light baby cuts. We'll see where we get. Worst case scenario, I wreck a really nice German made clop shaper and I put a ding in a $50, $75 Wilton vise. Let's see what happens. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure my table is running in the correct direction. which it would not have been. I'm going to start doing a tiny little skim cut here. We'll see what we get. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of... I'm not too worried about this thing being parallel with the base. Ideally, in a perfect world, I would square this thing up. But it's more for looks than anything to me. I don't really use that. I got an anvil. Liking that. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice cut. Alright, I'm gonna let her buck there. See what happens. I said I didn't make this thing parallel. I got it close. I got it within a few thousands. It's it's good enough for this thing. Like I said, it's not. We're not measuring things off this. So I'm hitting pretty heavy here, and I just barely scuffed it right on the end there. So I am actually going to start cutting back, and I'm going to go down 
five thousand, so I'm going to take baby cuts here because maybe ten thousandths because I don't want to cut too much at once and pull this thing out of the vise. So here we go. Let's go backwards. little side note here I dropped my tool holder down inside the post here because I was getting really close to here and the amount that I have to go down yet I probably got to go 20 30 thousand down yet I just didn't really feel comfortable getting this guy that close to this thing especially when I get close to the bottom here so I'm gonna keep cutting and and we should be okay now This one was a heavy one. All right, we're getting there. At this point, you may be asking, why don't you speed that thing up? Well, I could, but the next speed up actually goes pretty quick and when I'm running this way I don't want to hit into here so I might speed it up going this way but this way uh, I don't want to do that so close. Think we're going to do it this time? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, should we do one final pass? Another 10k, see what we get. We were so close on that last one. I don't know if I probably lost half of that video, but we'll do one more pass here. I'm going to slow my feed rate of the table down a little bit. I keep calling it a table. I know it's a box, but I call it a table. So I'm going to slow my feed rate down a little bit, and I'm going to try to get one nice smooth pass across there. I'm going to, I don't care. I'm not cutting up against the edge here. I got a couple little steps, but my tool holder is rubbing into this and I'm gonna smooth this out eventually anyway so I'm not too worried about that but we're pretty close to getting this flat here so let me adjust my feed and then we'll finish this shabby that definitely deserves one of these hit it right down there yeah right there okay click it good that is smooth all right 
right, here's the most important step. Get your non-precision grindstone out. If you don't have one, go to any hardware store, buy one, throw it in your toolbox, the back of your truck for a month or so. It should be perfect. Let's check her out. Oh, glides. Glides like nothing has ever glided before. that. And then we flip our precision grindstone over on the side. See how precision we are here. Ooh. Okay, so that's it. Stone is actually pretty relatively smooth. But there we go. Now she's flat as can be. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that and gals. Well, there's a few of you out there. This ain't going to be winning no beauty contests. She's got a few ups and downs. One of these days, maybe I'll put some lipstick on it and see what it looks like. Till then, this thing has worked great for me. <laughs> I've uh, dealt with it. Just, just a broken tooth here. No big deal. She holds tight. All right, I've kind of been wanting to do this for quite some time, and this vice was actually the perfect thing to do it on. Like I said, ideally, this guy should be clamped straight to the box on the shaper. And this is probably how they did it, you know, back in the 40s. These vices, I believe, came out, early 40s. And a lot of them were probably, they just slapped this guy on a shaper, zzz, zzz, cut, her, cut her flat, and good to go. They probably might have cut the jaws, too. I don't know, it was probably, you know, a couple operations, and it, it probably went pretty quick. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. If you enjoyed that, please be sure to like the video, comment below, and go to my channel and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification up there, and let me know I'm wanted. Alright, well that was fun, making things flat on the shaper. Till next time, stay safe in your machines and shoot safe. Catch you on the next one.